Hello and welcome back to the remastering of the Canadian Shield 1. As you can see, I'm uh, doing some frames here. I used an airbrush to do this first panel, uh, but then I realized that's not what I, how I wanted to do things. And I uh, started using just the lasso tool and stuff like that to get things colored in properly. Um, so, yeah, it's been a while since we did this. Uh, this is page two uh they should be coming more often now hopefully once a week or maybe a couple a week depending on schedules and of course i redo some of the art here as you see i'm gonna make uh, canadian shield a little taller and wider to fit with you know who he is you know we see this in uh other uh stuff and then you know we're gonna you know rework a bunch of the artwork in here that's part of the remastering process and of course we'll end up recoloring everything and shading it just to give him that bigness that wideness that he is you know um and as we saw in the last panel i redid that chin and now I'm going through every panel, of course, and putting in his skin, basically. Uh, I'll go back to every panel later and get it tightly in there. Um, um, so, yeah, now, just going through bit by bit and doing every single color that's on him. Um, and then getting in the background colors, as you can see. You know, uh, even at this point, we're not anywhere near finished and it's looking completely good getting some stuff on stage that you'd see in an old church to make the setting look slightly better here it's a piano i put you know did the 3d and i just got the lines there and so you know kind of tracing it but you know i i wouldn't know how to draw one of these things without something like this um so I don't color it exactly like this in the end, but it still gets colored in fairly decently, as you'll see when we get there, taking out some stuff there, uh, getting the wall back in there, making the pulpit a little wider, because pulpits were wider uh, back in that day. They weren't as skinny as they were. In fact, a lot of places have done away with the pulpits uh, in churches. They just, you know, you use something similar to a mic stand with that'll hold up their uh, iPads or, uh, you know, some sort of tablet type thing, which uh, has stuff on. And here's I'm going, getting most of the colors um, tight in this panel. Um, I'm redoing the frames a little bit. Um, uh, it's it's wonderful to see this all coming together and getting this all tight in, getting all these colors tight, making seeing this become good. And this is not anything to draw away from what Pope and Raven did in the first one. It was good. Uh, you know, I just have the time now to go back and redo this, have it do redo the coloring a little bit. As you can see, I put a green around the border. I was going to do that use the green in the for the the gutters but you'll see later that I do replace it um I replace it with um a red and white uh something that I came up with doing with while doing Canadian shield number two so you know uh that process has helped me on this and as you can see I'm getting all the trees here all redone completely oh and I, I know i haven't said yet if you can hit that like button share this out and uh watch to the end um subscribe if you're not subscribed of course uh it'd be really helpful you know trying to get up there uh so let's see what you know and this is just looking good each even this city you know uh or little outskirts of what would be supposed to be outskirts of <gasps> Hamilton, Ontario at the time, um, back early 1800s. We got a church there, as you can see, uh, and Canadian Shield or Man Like Cougar coming into the city, the church that's on the outskirts of town. Um, uh, just, you know, it's neat to see that, I guess. Uh, redoing this i don't know why it's neat but it is um and 
I'm not sure what else to say. And just, you know, I'm going back and as you can see in most of these, I'm making the, the colors a bit tighter, getting everything just a little bit better. And of course, then when we get to the shades, oh, everything's going to really pop when we get to the shades. Um, I'm just trying to think of stuff to say while uh, going along here um, because, you know, this uh, is uh, 10 minutes and we're just over the five minute mark. Uh, uh, but yeah, I hope you are enjoying this and hopefully you will get this. This will be coming to Kickstarter uh, when I get done it. It'll probably be a 60 day campaign. And I will have uh, Snowdrift and Canadian Shield 2 on there for people to get as well. Um, I don't suspect a lot of people, well, I don't suspect anybody will get, uh, who's got Canadian Shield 2 will get it. Um, no, I'm not sure what to say. Uh, hopefully a bunch of people will want the remastered one. Um, I'm hoping it'll be a selling feature on Kickstarter, getting the remastered version. Um, because, you know, um, because I do, <laughs> because I want to expand the brand, expand the audience. Hopefully more and more people will, uh, like this. And hopefully, like I said, the, the remastered will be a way to get them in a new printing of it. And it's probably, it's going to be the one that'll be printed up from, uh, now on. Um, I, that's why I've been holding off on printing up new uh, issues of number one just getting it done and as you can see I'm also fixing up some of the uh, lines in here getting one lines out that don't need to be there and making everything look a lot smoother um, so yeah and this is going to we're going to be doing our shading and lighting very soon we're going to start with the bottom left, bottom right hand panel. Uh, and oh man, it's just gonna look so good when I get it done. I know I keep saying that. And again, if uh, you haven't, please uh, hit that like button and share this out. Let people know that this is going on. Uh, we will be remastering all the pages. We've done two others before this. Uh, there'll be links to those right at the end um, in things. Uh, so while you're looking at this page all done up uh so if you want to go watch those after this that would be awesome um and like i said we're going to be trying to get out these pages um at least one a week hopefully two a week we've got like right now three projects on the go uh we have this obviously um i have a, a comic that i want i'm doing trying to get done for uh webtoons uh just that'll be probably about a page a month unless things speed up and then i'm working on a comic for dark con uh that's short for dark conversation um videos for that should be coming out about once a week as well uh so uh hopefully or once every other week depending on how fast i get because i can't do it can't show every page but i can show every two to three pages so that means that comes out a little bit further apart i will be having the first page out soon for that so that's good and you know as you can see we're almost done here we're on the second to last panel for uh shading and lighting and you're going to be able to see the full page the page in full with it i, I should have put up a comparison of uh, the first and other page but you'll be able to see that on the kickstarter if you're interested so uh yeah we are almost done here so that is good uh we're on the last panel which is the, technically the first panel of the page uh so again remember to hit that like button share this out subscribe if you're not subscribed and ring that bell for notification of when i'm putting out stuff so uh, again thank you very much for listening and watching uh hope i <laughs> me ramble on while doing this so
now that we're done. Here is the page in full. If you want, click one of the links uh, on side to get uh, the other uh, pages, one and two. Um, this will be in a playlist, too. So uh, that's great. Uh, so, again, thank you for listening. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notification. We'll catch you all later. Bye for now. God bless. Love you all. Have a great and wonderful day.